with number G1 slash 5 slash 2021. John Ramani Mahama. This is the Commission of Ghana. Nana Ado Dankwa Akufu Ado. Please, Mr. President, representing the petitioner. Samuel Oposu Ampo for my Lord, Mr. representing the petitioner. My Lord, Jane Mensah, chairperson, representing the first respondent. Then Mr. Peter McMahon, representing the second respondent. If your lordships please, I appear for the petitioner and with me, my learned friend, Tony Lita. May it please my lords, Justin Amenuvo appears for the first respondent with me, A.A. Somwa Asamwa. Your Lordship, I appear for the second respondent. He was with me and my learned colleagues from Davis, Kweku Esufu, and Yaopong. I believe we adjourn after your ruling. Uh, we would request before the cross examination begins that the tape that was tendered as part of the witness statement be played respectfully. There's a tape that was tendered as part of the witness statement. Yes, my lord. My lord, it's tendered as part of the evidence in chief. Yes. And so uh, he, he was sworn in and his uh, witness statement was adopted or not. So we think we, after cross examination, we can put it in. I'm sorry, after cross examination? Uh, yes. Or, or maybe you want, you think maybe they will cross examine on that. Exactly. So oh, it would okay. have been better if it's, okay. uh, if it's played before. My, my lord, in fact, I mean, as. That's what I thought, my lord.
addition to So there's a story from uh, the coalition room. There's a narrative that came out. Rojo Metal Lunu and My loss, are we ready to proceed? You you just have to remind the witness of, of the former oath. Okay, Mr. Roger Roberts, Roger Metalunu, on the 5th of February 2021, yes, you swore on the Bible to testify in this election petition to speak the truth, nothing but the truth. You still stand by it. My Lord, I stand by the oath I took. As a witness, yes. So you are reminded of that oath. My Lord, witness is reminded of the former oath. Mr. Metunun, prior to you going into the strong room, did you familiarize yourself with the rules governing the 7th December elections? My lords, yes, I did. I believe you are referring to CI 127. Exactly so. Now, you know that under CI 127, the coalition results that came to the EC headquarters that you describe as a strong room are only the presidential election results regional summary sheets from 12. Is that correct? That is not the only information. That is not correct. None. If you look at the rules, what are you to receive from the regions? Tell the court. Okay. 
in CI 127, mm. in CI 127, mm. the functions of the regional coalition officer. No, I'm not talking about has the out. I'm not talking about the regional coalition officer. I'm talking about what you receive in the strong room. If you want to read, you need to seek permission from the court. No, you asked no, you asked me an initial question that do I know the procedure, the processes in the strong room? And I said that the regional results as submitted to the strong room should not just include the summary. It should include the two hundred and seventy-five constituency results that make up that summary. Oh. You, cannot, you cannot present the summary without justification of the summary. So logically, the summary is justified in terms of verification by the representatives of the uh, presidential candidate, the strong group, by confirming that the additions of the summary are indeed true and accurate before you certify. Now, um, let's move on. You granted an interview on the premises of the EC on the 8th of December 2020 to Kwesi Parker Wilson of Dry FM. Do you recall? Yes, I do recall. Now, in that interview, you stated that, among other things that you said, you said that the NDC had deployed 275 lawyers throughout all the constituencies in Ghana. Do you recall? Yes, I do recall. You also said that your party had deployed over 16 lawyers to all the regional centers in Ghana. Do you recall? I do recall, that is correct. Did those representatives of yours, did they perform their roles diligently? The legal representatives of the party, the legal representatives of the party as deployed in the 275 constituencies and in the 16 regional coalition centers of the EC perform their duties, but they are not the returning officer of the EC. They are not the returning officer of the EC. Now, if they did perform, if they perform their duties diligently, it presupposes that under the rules, the set of forms that were being churned out, they at every time had duplicate copies. Is that agreed? The legal representatives were not the assigned persons to have the duplicate copies. It was the party's election directorate that was mandated by the party to assemble and receive the pink sheets as declared, the duplicate pink sheets. And those duplicate pink sheets were received by the agents appointed by the petitioner at each constituency and for that matter, the regional level. Is that correct? If you are referring to the pink sheets that were officially handed over at the end of the coalition, yes, that is correct. But in some other instances, Many, many other pink sheets also be started to appear. Now, we'll go on. You have testified that you made a mistake in certifying the Ashanti regional summary sheet in your paragraph 11. Is that correct? My lords, I indicated that I made a mistake on the Ashanti summary sheet declaration in the EC strong room for very, very specific reasons. Now, when did you realize that mistake? I had, 
I haven't, I haven't finished answering the question, please. Your Lord, I haven't finished answering the questions. You are not to repeat your um, statement. Just answer the questions and let's move on, please. I'm asking the questions. I have answered the question and I have supporting arguments for the answer I've given you. Am I not permitted to elaborate on that? You are not supposed to make arguments. You are just to answer my questions. I'm not arguing with you. I'm not arguing with you, my Lord. I'm not arguing with you. I'm saying you have to give me a fair opportunity to answer the question. I'm a witness. I must be given a fair opportunity to answer the question. I am saying that the next question I have for you is that would you tell this court when you realize this monumental mistake of yours? Tell the court. Which monumental mistake are you referring to? You are saying that in the summary, uh, in the uh, national headquarters of the EC, you made a mistake in certifying the Ashanti results. That is a monumental mistake. So tell this court when you realize that. Paragraph 11 of your witness statement. Tell the court. Subsequent, subsequent to my signing, now let me go back a little bit. Before, before the signing, before the signing, I had opportunity to speak to Dr. Sribwapaku about my concerns that I had observed. I drew Dr. Sribwapaku's attention to some observations that I had made on the summary sheet. And then he said he was going to make phone calls to the region yeah. to find out the concerns that I had raised. No. Indeed, he made some phone calls. He made some phone calls. So it is not as if I just got up and signed. There is a sequence, there's a process that led to me finally signing. There's a process. But I did complain initially to Dr. Park, and he made phone calls no. to the region. Are you aware that after you were denouncing what Broja Genfi had done. One of the lawyers you sent to the Ashanti region, Victor Kojogan Adaudu, came out to speak against what you were doing because they, the legal team, after certifying everything, told Broja Genfi it was okay to sign Ashanti. I'm putting that to you. I am not aware that the lawyer said anything contrary to what I was doing in the strong room. I have no knowledge of that, well, my lord. Well, I to you. It was all over um, in the social media and on the media as well. No, 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 you're asking me to testify, and I'm saying categorically that I have no knowledge of it. Social media was not available to me in the strong room. I'm sorry. You, you also stated that, you know, in order for me not to look like a troublemaker, I also certify some of the forms. It's in your evidence in chief. Do you recall that paragraph, paragraph 21, I think? I specifically indicated that I was cooperating fully with the Electoral Commission as a representative of the presidential candidate I was representing. I had a mandate to be there to see his interest, and I was cooperating with the EC in that regard. There are previous instances of how the EC conducts the business of the strong room. And that includes the opportunity for representatives, representatives of each political presidential candidate to explain or to seek explanation and to discuss issues as the, when they arise in the strong room. Let me, let me read for you what you said in paragraph 21. You said, I must also say that the fact that I signed sheets in respect of a number of regions shows clearly that my colleague and I were not there to put spokes in the wheels of the process of getting the proper basis for a constitutionally appropriate declaration of the results of the presidential election to be made. So I'm asking you that of the forms that you certified, you said you made a mistake on some, some you didn't want to put the spokeswork. So tell the court, which forms did you certify 
that you were satisfied with and which forms did you certify that you made a mistake? Can you kindly repeat the question, please? You were speaking too fast. I couldn't hear you. I say, in one vein, you are telling the court that I made a mistake in signing some of the forms. In another vein, you said, oh, you know, I do not want to put spokes in the words, so I signed the forms. Tell this court, because you have signed quite a number of forms, 13. Tell this court, which ones did you sign making mistakes? And which ones did you sign not wanting to put spokes in the works? Very well. Very well, my lords. To the best of my knowledge and recall, to the best of my knowledge and recall, if I may be given a little time to uh, pick up the summary sheets, I'll take them one by one. My lords, uh, uh, counsel, we, uh, had, we had issues. Uh, we had uh, issues. Permission, my we had sorry. issues. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, with the greater Accra, with the greater Accra. Mr. Mertinun, please, uh, please, if he wants to refresh his memory, I think you can ask for leave, but we will not allow him to be looking to processes which we don't have access to and not in evidence to be answering questions. Oh, well, that's appropriate, and I, I think that is an indication that we shall give to him. Uh, you are not allowed, without leave of the court, to refer to documents unless we ask for leave and if you want to refer to documents you need to tell us what you want to refer to to refresh your memory and then we ask the court for leave so what documents were you seeking to refer to the um the first respondent's lawyer was asking me to specifically indicate the regional summary sheets that I signed or no, certified no, 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 that no, 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 later no, 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 I had problems with. No, 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 no. You so, uh, uh, so that we found a, 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 I mean a, 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 a common path to where we are going. He is asking you a question. Respond. He said, "Which document are you trying to look?" At, so that you ask the permission of the court to allow you to do so. A period. My Lord, I'm looking at the 16 regional summary sheets. 16 of the regional summary sheets. And where did those summary sheets come from? The summary sheets that I'm referring to are summary sheets that were made available to my team in the strong room Where? during the collation of the results from the regional uh, level. My lords, we respectfully ask for leave for him to my, my lords. memory by reference to those documents. My lords, those 16 regional summary sheets are not part of any of the exhibits in this case. He cannot refer to them. He participated. My Lord, I, I'm, I'm saying that as a matter of law. A party cannot refer to a document that is not in evidence to answer a question. It is not the right way to go. A witness is in the box, yeah, especially in matters which we have to resort to documentary evidence. There may be a mass of evidence and uh, the witness may not have a ready knowledge of everything. If he had something to do with it, it is allowable. It is true that the witness cannot be expected. But he is not a witness from nowhere. He was, he, he is on note as yes. having said that My Lord. he took part he was an agent. as agent for the petitioner in the strong room. He probably had access to uh, these documents coming from some sheets and the rest coming from, obviously. My, my lords, my point is 
we do not know whether the document he's referring to is an official document. It is a say, say so. And we do not know because it is not a document exhibited in these proceedings. Now, the, 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 the issue that we have at, at hand is that the petitioner refused to put any evidence before the court. Now, the witness, with the greatest respect, the witness there says that he has the summary sheets. Uh, with the greatest respect, I would want him to tell us. He should tell us, my lord. Yes, my lord. In other words, you have no objection to him referring to what he claims to be his summary sheet. Yes, my lord. Yes. So let's he, go on. He, he should go ahead. Tell us. Tell us the summary sheets that you signed and those that you didn't sign. Right. My lord, respectfully, respectfully, Counsel for the first respondent says he has no objection, but I believe counsel for the second respondent raised an objection, and I believe your lordships may want to consider that, and, and may, your lordships may wish to hear me. Your lordships may wish to hear me on that. Your lordships will notice that before I even ask your lordships leave, I ask him what documents he's referring to. And he said the 16 summary sheets. And I asked him where he got it from. And he said he got it from the EC. So my lord, it is clear that those are documents that he is swearing on oath are official documents. The fact that they are not in evidence has nothing to do with a witness refreshing his memory by reference to those documents. Yes. So answer the question. My lords, very well. The, the answer to the question are in two parts. They are in two parts. There are some documents that I signed or certified, and they are Upper West Region. Upper West Region. Mm -hmm. Then your I agent, certified. Let's, let's go on. You are being written by agent. Upper West Region. Your agent had signed on that form. Not so. The regional agent had signed on that form 12. Not so. The Upper West Region, yes, the please, please, NDC agent please, please, in the person of Mohammed. Iliasu signed, and the summary sheet was officially signed at 3.26 p.m. on the 8th of December. Yeah, Mr. Amenibo, I was reminding you, you see, the question you asked, you asked a specific question to give you the summary sheets which he signed as a result of a mistake and those he signed because he didn't want to you know maybe create or place impediments now he is doing so then after mentioning one you stop him and then ask another question did this is it why you do that you confuse the witness let the witness answer the question to the end then after that maybe you can take them region by region please well my lords 
Please go. My Lord, may I continue? Yes. My Lord, I have also observed that the fax that was sent to the EC strong no, no, room. No, 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 no. Please. Please. Was Mr. also received. Mr. Metununu. Mr. Metununu. Yes, sir. You are to tell the, the, the forms that you certified by mistake and those that you certified because you didn't want to put spokes in the works. But that is what you are supposed to do. Well, I am the questioner. My Lord, respectfully, there's no way in the witness statement where he says, I signed some because I didn't want to put spokes. Mr. Chikata, that was the question that was on the table, and that's what we are waiting for the answer. Yo. I beg your pardon, hold on. May I finish, Mr. Chikata? Paragraph 21 of his witness statement, he says, I must also say that the fact that I signed sheets in respect of a number of regions shows clearly that my colleague and I were not there to put spokes in the wheel of the process of getting the proper basis for constitutionally appropriate declaration of the results of the presidential election to be made. And this is the paragraph that was read out to him. And so this is the answer, this is the question that I am my ears are open to, let, to hear the answer to. Could you kindly let the witness give us an answer? Well, but if he's repeating the question by misleading the witness in he's terms not. of what is in that paragraph, because he says, tell us which he signed because he didn't want to put spokes in the wheel. The witness never said that. That is the question he asked him. I can say so. The witness can say so. Please proceed. My Lord, so in respect of Upper West Region, the fact was you, also received. No, no, you have spoken about Upper West. Can you go to the next region? Go to the next I am region. Giving, I'm giving you the basis on which I signed no, I, some I, and I the basis on which you. I did not find some. I did not ask That was the question. You, you, you have given the court two reasons. One, you signed by mistake. Two, you did not want to put spokes in the works. You are telling the court, one, the one that you signed by your momentous mistake, the second, the one that you signed because you didn't want to put spokes in the works. You have dealt with upper west. Can we go to the next? And I'm responding, my lords. I'm answering the question because there are some that have specific issues. I indicated in my statement that I had problems with the, the, the system of the EC. Mr. The system was not working. No, no. Mr. You, you have a situation no, no. where Mr. you have a situation no, no. where Mr. Metonono. No, no. Yes, my lord. You yes, my lord. To help us to arrive at a decision that is premised on proper records. You have been asked the question. There are 16 regions. Please group the two answers into regions. And then you can move on, please. Very well, very well, my lord. Very well, my lord. So the Upper West Region, I signed on the face of the summary without any confirmation of the constituency results that make up that summary. But I signed that one. That's Upper West Region. You go to the next region. The Northern, Northern Region, Northern Region, I had problems with that one. I had problems with Northern Region. So you didn't certify that one. You didn't certify Northern Region. I was, I was, I was, I was taking up issue with the EC. You did not certify it Northern this, Region. That, Please answer the question. You did not certify Northern Region. Is that correct? No, I did not. I did not certify Northern Region. So let's go to the next. Very well. I have four. I have four. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are waiting for you. I certify, I certify I have four without having full access to the relevant constituency summary sheets that led to this summary. But I signed it. What what other region? You have mentioned three. Let's central, central, central region. Yes. I signed central rating mm -hmm. 
but I had serious observations on the summary sheets in the way it was signed. Because if I'm permitted to let's show it in evidence, it will become let's very clear. Let's go on to the next region. Let's go on to the next okay, region. Okay, very well. Very well. Volta region. Yes. Volta. Mm -hmm. I certified Volta region. Good. Let's go Again, the without the full complement, without the full complement of confirmation of the various constituency results. Fine. Let's go on to the next. Western North. Western North region. I signed Western North region, mm -hmm. but we had issues with Sefri. Sefri, Sefri, you also? Yes. Okay. Let's go on to the next. I did not certify Greater Accra region. Good. Let's go on to the next. Because there were issues with the Greater Accra region summary sheets and how they came into the strong room. Let's go on to the next. Eastern region. Mm. Eastern region. In the case of Eastern region, we received two different summary sheets in the strong you, room. Did you certify Eastern or you did not? I did. But I was raising subsequent issues with the e e uh, commissioner and okay, let, this was let, one let, of the regions with which I had issue. Let, Eastern region. There were two. There were two results sent you, to the to the AC strong room. Two results. Your evidence in chief. The law provides for the law provides for only let, one summary sheet. Listen, listen to me. You have said so in your evidence in chief. Your two previous colleagues have spoken about it. Your answer to the question is that you certified Eastern region also. Can you repeat the question, please? Go to the next region. Pardon? Go to the next region. Does it mean you are, you are not asking the I question am on the. Uh, with my answer. Go to the next region. Very well. Bono East. Yes. <laughs> We had issues with Bono East. Did you certify or not? Bono East was one of the uh, summary sheets I did not sign. Uh, I'm answering the question. Can you be patient with me? Okay, so I did not sign Bono East. I did not sign region. Bono East. Let's go on to the next region. OT, OT region. Mm -hmm. I did not, I observed some issues did with OT. Certify or you did not? OT. But I, I, I certified, but I observed Good. some Let's challenges the next. with OT, Let's but I signed. Let's go on to the next. Let's go on to the next. Western region. Yes. I certified, but I drew attention to the EC to yes. some anomalies which they corrected. Let, let's go on to the next. I sign. I sign. Yes, good. Let's go on to the next. I think I've, I believe I've done central region already. You have. Let me assist you what is left. We have northeast Bono. Upper East. Okay. North East. North, North East. Mm -hmm. I signed, but we had no issues with the summation. No problem. Now, Bono. 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 Mm. I 
I signed Bono, but we had Great. issues. We I signed Bono, but we had issues. Fantastic. Wait, let's go. German no. Upper East. Upper East. Upper East. Mm -hmm. I signed Upper East Region. Great. Now let's go to Savannah. They doubt, doubt, doubt the full complement of the confirmation yeah. from the constituencies. Uh, yeah, so that is no, no yeah. worries. Let's go to Savannah. Come again. Let's go to Savannah. Savannah. Order in court, please. Order. Lord, I cannot immediately find Savannah. You cannot immediately. You are not talking about the now. We are yes. talking about the then. Did you sign Savannah? My Lord, I wish to remind you that I said I needed to refresh my memory by looking at the very document before me. And if I cannot find Savannah, you're asking me to recall. I've just told you that I needed to refresh my memory by looking at the fiscal document. Yes. The, the, have you found Savannah in, amongst your documents? I believe I told your lordship that I was looking for Savannah. All right, look for it. I'll wait for you. Very well. Are you waiting for me or I'm waiting for you? Look. Look, let me put it to you so we move on. I am putting it to you that you certified Savannah and your agent called Mumuni S. Ibni signed on that form in the region before it came to Accra. I'm putting that to you. I need an answer so I can move on. My lords, I have some issue with the microphone here. Can you please repeat the question? I am saying that I am putting it to you that you certified Savannah and your agent in the region called Mumuni S. Ibni signed at the region before it came to the national. That is correct. Good. Now, the forms that you have before you, you know on the right side where they sign, there's a column that if you would not sign, you need to give reasons 
for your refusal or your failure to sign. Okay, do you see that column? Yes, I, I, I see the column. Good. Now, I am putting it to you that all the forms that your regional agents did not sign, they didn't assign a single reason for their refusal to sign. I'm putting that to you. My Lord, could you repeat the question? Could you repeat the question? I am saying that of all the forms that your agents in the regions did not sign. Apart from Western North that you certified, they didn't assign any reason on the right column for their refusal to sign those forms. I'm putting that to you. On the face of the summary sheets, that is the, that is the situation. But that didn't mean that they didn't have issues. No, no problem. Now, I am also putting it to you that if you look at the rules, the first respondent, together with you, the agents, were supposed to assemble and collate the presidential election results from the regional, from the regions provided by the various regional collation officers as set out in Form 12 of the, of the schedule. I'm putting that to you. That is the rule, but not the practice. We are, we are in court to review the performance relating to the practice uh, well, and the, the relief efficiency yes. with which listen, we declare the results. That's why we're in court. Mr. Witness, we are specifically the court will determine the release. relief. Hello, we can't have we can't have the lawyers speaking. This is so. Right, go on. I'm saying mm. that, yes, there is a provision for reasons if you refuse to sign. Mm. There are reasons if you refuse to sign. But I'm saying that even the EC's own officials certified various summary sheets in error. The blame is not only on party representatives and agents. The official representatives of the returning officer also certify results. They were not just there to just fill forms and forward it. They were there to make sure that the, the results of what was being forwarded was accurate and was not giving the opportunity for votes that had been cast to be lost in the declaration. So speak for yourself. You are by this telling the court that your agents, including you, failed the petitioner monumentally by signing forms when they shouldn't sign, failing to assign reasons when they should. I am putting that to you. That is incorrect. That is incorrect. Because on many occasions in the strong room even, the EC itself and its officials found the need to amend summary sheets of the regions. These have already been signed by the regional representatives, but they found it necessary to cause the various results to be re-amended without the presence of our agents. Without the presence of our agents. Mm. And it's for that reason that the returning officer, who is uh, Jean Mensa, was expected to give an opportunity for, re for redress before the final declaration. Uh, and that is why we went to seek audience with her. So uh, apart from the four regional summary sheets that I did not sign, apart from the four regional sheets that I did not sign, we later on discovered, for example, that there were other regions that had issues. So and if they had been minded to that have that, that amended, <laughs> we will not be in this situation we are in now. Right. Dr. Afarijan gave opportunity in the past 
for some of these things to be rectified. Do he you did. Know? He gave opportunity for these things to be rectified. Uh, uh, Mr. Metununu, you recall that you indicated to the court that you have familiarized yourself with the rules under CI 127, not so? That is correct. Are you well aware, are you well aware that CI 127 revoked the arrangements that used to be the practice and uh, Afarijan, as you have said, are you aware? It did not entirely revoke that. It said that in the new amendment and in the new arrangement, you must still maintain best practices. <laughs> they didn't throw out everything in the previous thing. They said you must have best practices. Best practices. Good. When did you leave, when did you leave the strong room for the second time on the 9th? I left the strong room. The first time I left the strong room was when the EC sacked me from the strong room. That was the first time I left the room. When was the this? The EC sacked me from the strong room. When was this? It had never happened before. When was In this? In previous elections, I stayed there for 72 hours. When was this? When? That I left the strong room for the second time. For the second time, that's what I'm asking you. I left the strong room the second time to see audience with the, the electoral commissioner. The that was when, come again. The time of the day. It was somewhere between three o'clock and four o'clock. On what day? But you have already said it's on the 9th. It's on the 9th. Well, if you, if you are being rude, it's to the court, not to me. No, you made the question. You said, you said that on the 9th, when was the second time you left the room? And I'm answering. Then you are trying to, you know, uh, divert me to make some other statement. It, you are talking about the 9th. And I'm responding to you on the 9th that I left the room for the second time between 3 and 4. At the time you were leaving, had you seen the forms for the northern region? The regional... By, the time, region for by the... the time I was leaving, yes, I had seen the forms for the northern region and I had issues with the forms for the northern region. Yes, and that was one of the reasons I went to see the you commissioner. You earlier told the court that you didn't sign that form, that is fine. But I just want to find out from you whether at the time you were living, you had seen the form from the Northern region. Now, I believe that you answered that you had seen the form. The... I can also tell you exactly the time I saw the forms. Okay, that'll be fine, tell us. Northern region, the northern region forms were faxed to the strong room at 3.47 p.m. Sorry, yeah, p.m. 3.47 p.m. On what day? On the 9th, on the 9th, on the 9th. Mm. Mm. Thank you very much. So, at the time that you were leaving the strong room, all the written sheets had come. I am putting that to you. All had come. The northern was the last to come. I'm putting that to you. As correct summary sheets. As the summary sheets. As the summary sheets. You had seen all no, no, of no. them. 
There's a distinction that has to be made. Please answer my question. Trump will leave the distinction for the then that is not then that is not then that is not correct because <laughs> Greater Accra was outstanding. Eastern region was outstanding to the best of my knowledge. No. Bono is was out no, just a minute. In terms of correct summary sheets, you can fax something to the strong room, but it may not be correct. <laughs> and the <laughs> issue <laughs> is <laughs> raised <laughs> here <laughs> is <laughs> Please, Mr. Metal Nunu, sorry. Please, this is a very simple question. Go straight to the point. He's not asking you genuine or, or uh, whatever, or correct or incorrect or whatever. He's asking you a very simple question. Let's, let's try and make some headway. I repeat that at the time that you were living after 3.47 p.m. when the northern sheet had come, all the 16 regional summary sheets had come. And you had seen them. Don't all the 16? Yes. All the 16? Yes. That is correct. Thank you. Even though we had, even though we had issues Thank you. with some of the summary sheets. Now, now, the petitioner the petitioner has always had a problem with the chairperson person of the EC, not so. I do not exactly know what you mean by that. When the chairperson of the EC was appointed, the petitioner and your party raise issues with that appointment. Is that not so? My who and my who? <laughs> your, I didn't hear the question. I said the petitioner and your party, the NDC party. I heard, I heard anti. That is why I said who. I didn't I hear party. I heard anti. NDC party. party. Order in court, please. Order. You had issues. You raised issues with her appointment, not so. Not that I recall. Good. Not that I recall. Mm, okay. And when the EC decided to have a new register, your party took the matter to court, not so. I read that in the news. Now, prior to the 7th December elections, your party variously raised issues about the performance of the chairperson of the EC. Not so. Can you repeat the question, please? I'm saying that prior the events, the timing leading to the 7th December elections, <coughs> your party and the petitioner raised issues about the performance of the chairperson of the EC, not so? That I do recall. Do you recall that? <laughs> yes, I do. In, in great detail. In great detail. Good. Now, in spite of that, you want this court and the people of Ghana to believe that the person that you have distrusted so much tells you to leave the strong room and go to the petitioner, and you left, both of you. Huh? Tell us. My lords, my lords, there are two different issues here. I was asked by the petitioner to represent him with a team. I was there with Dr. Pesa White to represent him in a very specific mandate. The presidential candidate, in spite of all the things you said, did not say he was withdrawing from the, the poll because of all the things you've alluded to. He still took part in the elections. 
No. And as required by law, the retaining officer was also supposed to be an independent retaining officer to be fair, to be transparent, and to run an election with integrity. So under those three principles, I was asked to go into the strong room to defend the interest to the best of our ability. Uh, at IPAC, at IPAC, it was decided that each political party or each candidate will have at least four accreditations, with two in the strong room at every point in time. Is that correct? That is correct. Good. So it means that at the time that you were leaving <coughs> to the petitioner's ref, uh, residence, you, uh, you had two backup people who could represent the petitioner in the strong room, not so? My lords, let me put it on record that on the 9th, no strong room activity was ongoing. And at the time that I went to see the electoral commissioner, we had four regions that had not been dealt with. We also had a situation where the commissioner herself performing her functions as the returning officer directed the two of us to go and send a message to the petitioner. So, so, so long as he left, the functions of the representatives could not continue because the other two would not have the same appreciation of the specific issues that we were dealing with. It's not, it's not like a relay race where you just hand over a baton. You must deal with the specific issues. So you agree with and me? And she was minded by that. She knew. She knew that we were not in the strong room. She knew that she had directed us to leave. And she told us that she would give us a police escort to bring us back in time if we had uh, 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 traffic challenges. She knew. You see, I am asking you again that at the time that you left, you had the opportunity to have two other people represent you in the strong room, yes or no? And I've answered you as follows, that in as much as we had two opportunities to replace the representatives, the specific issues for which we left the strong room were such that any other two people would not have the same appreciation of the issues and therefore they could not continue to perform the functions as representatives of the petitioner in the strong room. No. And that is a state of fact. So you are saying that in spite of the fact that it was agreed that you could replace you in living decided not to be replaced. That is the case, not so. That is not the case. In the case of the MPP, you had Mahmenu, John Buedu, and so many other people in the strong room, even though two people were supposed to have been only in the strong room at the time. Uh -huh. Why is it? Why is it that they were permitted to be in the room? Why were they permitted to be in the room? Your answer, your answer reminds me of the parable, anyway, my lords, I, I leave it, I leave it. Now, in your evidence in chief, you stated that you had been at the EC headquarters for three days and somebody brought you change of clothing, not so. That's right. That is correct. Now, in the same witness statement, you said that when I arrived on the 9th, you said so, 
that when I arrived on the ninth, let me let me just go to which specific which specific uh, item are you dealing with? Yes. Um, yeah, the first paragraph I referred to was paragraph 26. The second one, paragraph 22. Paragraph 22. Paragraph 22. Yes. Yeah. You said. Yeah. The beginning says that it was in the light of the experiences of different regional certification processes and the posture of the EC officials in the strong room on the night that on behalf of my colleagues and myself, I sought to consult with the EC. The attorney also needed to receive feedback on the conveys the previous day, particularly I had learned from the officials, uh, particularly as I had learned from officials at the NDC headquarters before I got to the EC headquarters on the ninth. So you, 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 you see that. Yes, I've seen that. Good. The two conflicting portions of your witness statement, can you clarify the court? Where were you coming from on the, on the, on the ninth? Where were you coming from? In the early hours of the ninth, I was sacked from the EC strong room. And I had to drive from Accra all the way to Committee 25, where I reside. This was around 2 a.m. of the night. I then had to wake up very early and go through another two hours of traffic on that eastern corridor back to the EC office. So, right. I, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll leave this point. The, the, it is clear, it is clear that you have not been a truthful witness, even on your own evidence in chief. It, I'm putting it to you that your evidence in chief is full of untruths, and if they are true, they are half truths. I'm putting that to you. Not with the greatest respect, the witness has not been shown and truth in his, in his testimony is such that the witness was just given an example. One example, when you arrived on the morning, the witness explained clearly he had to drive and so on. Kata, it's not a need of making question in which uh, no, my you, you not, always put to witness that he's not being truthful. Yes. <laughs> so please let it go. <laughs> Do you recall that on the 9th as well, Please, can you answer the question? What is the question? The question to you is that even in your witness statement, you have told the court on truths and half truths. I put it to you. That is absolutely untrue. Absolutely untrue. Now, I swore on oath to tell the truth, and I told the court nothing but the truth. Now, do you recall that on the 9th, you granted again an interview to your favorite, Kwesi Parker Wilson, at the NDC headquarters? Yes, I do recall. Now, you recall you said... That was, this, that was yes. You recall you said this among others. Because I don't have the documentation in front of me, it is becoming a challenge for you to appreciate what I am saying, but create another opportunity for me and my other colleague in the EC, and we will show Ghanaians and the 
global community the fraud that has been perpetrated on the people of Ghana. Let me emphasize, President Nana Akufuado did not win the presidential election. He did not. He did not. And I repeat emphatically, he did not. I was in the EC. I was representing the party in the EC. And I'm saying that on the face of the evidence provided, Nana Adudankwa did not win the election. You recall that? Yes, and where in that statement does it show that I'm contradicting myself in terms of time? No, where? I didn't ask you. M M Mr. Rojo, please uh, just, I mean, come straight. He is asking you whether you did grant that interview. It's uh, very simple, you or you recall. Yes, simple. the answer is I granted the interview, yes. I granted the interview. Now, I am putting it to you that even as of today that you are testifying, you have brought no such proof to the court. I'm putting it to you. He's not a part uh, My lord. Uh, no, no, he's not. He's not. He's not. He's not. Well, well, well. My, I am putting it to you that even as you speak, the petitioner has not brought any such proof to the court. My lord, the petitioner is seeking very specific reliefs of the court. And, and the, the, the statement and uh, interview I granted is not in evidence because the, the legal argument of the petitioner does not require that at this stage. It, 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 it's not one of the pleadings. He is specifically asking the returning officer to declare the true results of the 2020 poll. The 2020 poll. There has been one declaration several press conferences or press releases and you know there can be only one declaration one declaration one declaration and so the petitioner's response for me as a witness was to show my performance and presence in the easy strong room that is what i was supposed to address oh we'll come to that we'll come to that mr robert joseph metonunu you say in paragraph 31 of your witness statement that you are a veteran of the strong room since 1992, not so. The longest serving representative of any political party. Great. Now, is it the first time you have left your post to consult with your candidates or you have engaged in the practice previously? It is not the first time. It is not the first time. Mm. In my engagement with previous returning officers of the presidential poll, mm. I had had occasion to leave the strong room to go and speak to a person I was representing in the strong room. And then I returned with the understanding that I have been sent to do so. And in this particular instance, I have also been sent to do so. Oh, so you want the court to believe that various chairpersons of the EC send you and you obey. Is that the, is that the position? As and when it was necessary to do so. As and when, in order to resolve the issues. For example, in time, in the election that took us to time, it was a result of the consultative process that was available to us that brought all the political parties to a meeting called by the EC chair to agree that the only way to resolve the issue of the deadlock was to have a by-election, uh, uh, sorry, a, a, a runoff in time. And at all that times is when you are living, at all practice. times when you are living, all of you, all the representatives or the agents of the candidate in the strong room leave without any backup representation. That is what you want this country to believe in also. That is the case, and that mm. is what my testimony says. Okay. That is the case. Awesome. Now, you say that you identified issues in the strong room, not so. 
you are then correct issues that needed resolution in the strong room not so correct now should you not as a representative of the candidate not be in the strong room to do the work you are assigned to do can you repeat that question again should you not as a representative of the candidate in the strong room, should you not have, should you not have stayed in the strong room to do the work the work that he assigned you to do my lords in the strong room the activities of the presidential representative is to cooperate with the ec for the declaration of the true results and as a team leader as a team leader of the group it was my responsibility to consult dr sri Wopak. i consulted mr tete and then i also went to consult with the the commissioner and in all those situations, the EC's offices were not in one place. I spoke to Sri Wapaku in the strong room. I spoke to uh, Mr. Tete in Jim Mensah's office. And I spoke to Jim Mensah in her office. Okay, that, that, that reminds me. When you went to Jim Mensah's office to speak to the people that you are speaking about, was she the one who invited you or you left the strong room of your own volition? I informed Dr. Sribo Paku no, that I, I was going to see the commissioner. I also informed, I also informed Mr. Okay. Tete that I was going to see the commissioner. I did. They and knew. then when I made the phone call, when I made the phone call to Jean Mensa, she invited me to come. She invited me to come. The question is, when you left the strong room to go and meet with the commissioner in her office, it was of your own volition, your own free will. Is that not so? It was not just a simple matter of my own free will. It was a function of me being a representative of a presidential candidate and in order to do my work properly officially officially it's not about my own free will i was performing an official function it's not about my own free will i was performing an official function when when you went you were in that secretariat for close to three hours is that not so because I was told to wait. Answer the question. I you was were told in that secretariat for I was three hours. told to wait, and it was for that reason that I was shown the reception area to her office, and I kept on waiting until then. She asked me to wait for her Mr. in her Mr. office Mr. reception. Mr. Chikata, may I have your attention? Please, can you let your witness be very, very, very specific or brief on? some of these simple issues. Very, 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 very simple. I don't know. I don't know where, where he's uh, dragging this. He was asking a simple question. Oh. Okay. My Lord, I do not wish to interfere with the answers of the witness. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, the, uh, you, the witness is your witness. Here to help the court to elicit uh, information to help us arrive at the truth. <laughs> Yes, my lord, if you, if you take the answer that he was in the process of giving, he says you were there for three hours, and he says he was okay. there Mr. because... Mr. Minko, you, you go on. Tell us how long you were there for. Can you ask, I, I didn't hear the question. Tell the court how long you were in the secretariat for. Oh, it was a considerable length of time. It was a considerable length of time. Yes. And because the commissioner was not there and... And, and <clears throat> you, you had left the strong room, not so? That is correct. And even whilst there, you were offered tea and biscuits, not so? <laughs> 
come for? I was offered tea. I wasn't offered any biscuits. <laughs> Order. Order in court, please. Order. Order. Order, please. I am putting it to you that on that occasion, as well as the 4 p.m. when you left the strong room, you did so on your own free will and vo uh, volition. That is not correct. It was not on my own free will. Now, I am putting to you that all the grievances stated in your witness statements are afterthoughts. They are afterthoughts. I am putting that to you. That is not correct. The process I of am functioning in you. this strong room is a process. It's a process. And the issues that I, will, I was going to discuss with the EC Commissioner are issues arising out of the performance of my function in the strong room. How I, can they be after I am further putting it to you. How can they be after that? I am further putting it to you that you couch them after you heard the wobbly testimonies of the first and second witnesses of the petitioner. I'm further putting it to you. That is not correct. I am giving a testimony of my own performance as a team member representing the flag bearer. That is not correct. You see, your witness statement and the evidence you have given is a bad explanation for the bad job that you did for the petitioner. You are being judgmental. <laughs> that is not fact. You are being judgmental. I was performing a function. Answer the and I'm supposed to protect the interest of my candidate, my presidential candidate. And I did it based on my knowledge, my knowledge, past experience, and a certain sense of high, high maturity in the strong room. If I misconducted myself, this country would be in war by now. You need to appreciate that. <laughs> it was my mature handling, my very mature handling of the situation. And don't forget the EC chair said that she was going to declare the results in 24 hours. She said she was going to declare the results in 24 hours. And there were so many anomalies, so many anomalies. Mr. Metonunu, having delivered your lecture, I want you to come back and answer my question. I'm saying that your witness statement is a bad explanation for the bad job you did for the petitioner. And I'm saying that is not correct. You are not the chief examiner here. That is not correct. Now, now, in order to hide your shortcomings, you went to the petitioner and to your party faithful and fed them on truths. I'm putting that to you. My lord, it is it is your it is your client that you are representing. It is your client that is being untruthful. She is supposed to declare credible well, election you, 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 has please, 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 and I said, I'm being truthful. I said, your Lord, I said, I'm being truthful. And because he also preempted the statement with all those in windows, and the fact that he was trying to impugn my integrity, I'm telling him that it is his client who is not being untruthful and is not telling the people of Ghana the true result of the elections. You, you, you recall, you recall the 2008 conduct in the strong room. You remember? 
Yes, I do remember. When you said that I am Rojo Metununu, and that if Kwabner Dupont didn't take his time, you are going to go at him one-on-one. -on -one. You remember? That is correct. And I told him that in the face because you he was see, trying to change the results. You see, I am putting he it to you. To change the I am putting it to you that that character of yours is what you have just displayed for the court. Yeah. I have a temperament for fairness. I have a temperament for telling the truth. I have a temperament that makes me want to fight to defend the integrity of my name. You have a temperament known as ungovernable character. My Lord, that will be all. My Lord, do I have the right to respond?